Hello, I'm Ethan Feliciano, and this is my basketball journey. My journey started in my fourth term of year one, when I was seven years old. During the holidays, I'd watch High School Musical, and believe it or not, I'd become fascinated about basketball, with all the cool tricks and how people could shoot the ball and always make it. After I watched the movie, I thought I wanted to be like Troy Bolton, who was the captain of his team and led his team to a championship. So I asked my parents if I could play, and thankfully, they said yes. Okay, so, Mom and Dad, what do you what did you think when I first asked you if I could play basketball? Ethan, you played soccer and you were doing karate, but you did ask us if you could try basketball, and so we thought, well, why not? First, you what's up? You were right. You were good. Um, not 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 quite there yet in terms of your development. But I think overall, you will grow into the sport that you have already, so I think you had the foundation there. Last question is for Dad, and that is, who do you think would win one-on-one -on -one between you and me? One-on-one, -on -one, you and me. Well, that's not really a question that I should really answer, because we all know the answer to that one. But, having said that, I can say that I think your outside shooting has definitely improved. Your layups, both left and right hand, is been great. Um, but I think under the basket and under the post, I will dominate because you still need to do a lot of growing and putting more weight behind you. Having said that, it'll be a tight game, and I'll let you win by one. Thank you. No problem. I've played for many teams throughout my basketball career, and I hope to play for more. But my first team was the first step in my basketball journey. It consisted of five other players, including Ben Moss, who is in our class. After four years of playing basketball, I've been asked by a main coach of the junior program, John Suva, if I wanted to play Gala there and represent the Southern Sharks. I said yes and played four games with some of my current teammates, as well as some new ones, including Sam Max. After training and playing with these boys, I grew to become great friends with them and continue playing with them, even to go to high school with some. This Gala Day inspired me to try it for reps so I continue to practice and strive to get better. Later that year, I tried for a representative basketball for the under-12 men's Southern Sharks team. It was a two-day trial that made everyone work hard, but by the end it had been worth every bit of sweat, as I would made the under-12 Division II men's team, and I was ready to start. The only problem was that all my teammates had either not trialed, had not been selected, or made the Division I team. So I made new friends at the start of the training session. As the season went on, I had bonded greatly with my teammates, and we all still keep in touch. At the end of my first year as an under-12 representative player, we had made the semi-finals and finished overall fourth in the Metro League competition. And I had obviously improved throughout my rookie season as I got the MVP award for our team, which was a great achievement as a first-year reps player. Under your coaching, how much improvement has I shown physically, technically, and, un and my understanding of the game from then to now. Well, uh, obviously, going from learning to play basketball to where you are now, the improvement physically is, is just by watching you play basketball. Your knowledge of the game, I've watched you play a few basketball games, and uh, just your court sense is very good. And because you're a referee, you kind of know the rules and how to, how to play the game, so it's fantastic. And, uh, um, it's, it's fantastic to see any kid that starts off in a learn to play class and eventually maybe future sharks. And, and then under 12s and under 14, so a lot of improvement. Mm -hmm. And if I continue basketball, what, where do you see me going in the future? Well, we do have a lot of kids that uh, go on and play senior basketball. I'm hoping that would be the least you would do. But we do have kids that get, get scholarships in the United States, and uh, it's something in the future that you... What advice can you give me to achieve those goals? Well. 
I guess right off the top of my head is basketball is a game where you really have to master the game of basketball, and that takes practice. And practice doesn't doesn't just include playing a game on uh, up here on a Thursday. It's playing at home in front of your house. Uh, it's uh, playing three on three. It's playing one on one. And any advice that I could give the kids is play as many games you can, but also uh, work on your skills outside. Um, watch from other people. I uh, myself, uh, probably every one of my sort of signature moves, I didn't make them up. I watched somebody one on one day, or someone in college, or a teammate, and I just try to be a sponge. And, and I got beat once by that particular move. I wanted to put in my repertoire, so uh, just try to learn as much things you can. It's lim limitless on what you can learn, but it does take dedication and work. My first year in the under-14 age group was a great experience as we successfully made it to the grand final. A great experience for coming second in the end across the Sydney Metro League. Emma, what attributes do I display on and off the court as a team player? So when you're on the court you always display a lot of sportsmanship and when you're off you always support your team players. And at the end of the game you would always shake hands and wish them up for the next one or congratulate them. In my second year in the under 14 age group, I made the Division 1 team and we went on to be the Metro League champions. We then went to Newcastle to take home the 2015 Junior State Cup. And Emma, what was your reaction when you found out uh, my team and I had won State Cup? Um, I felt really excited and I was so proud of you and your team and that you as the captain won for the under 14 Sharks State Cup and I was so happy mum and dad were bawling their eyes when actually they were, but they were bawling their eyes and they were so happy. Daniel Oborn, or OB as our team called him, helped me improve tremendously throughout the course of this season, not just as a player but as a leader. He saw that I had a strong desire to improve. I led by example and had a great work ethic and leadership. I asked Obi where he thought my pathway could lead me and he said that if I always have the desire to improve, I would be like this year's ABA Men's Rookie of the Year and New South Wales Captain Bailey Musulum. I could be a New South Wales State Representative player and possibly get a scholarship to a college team in the US. Obi gave me some advice to get there, but not just in basketball, but in life as well. The advice was to set goals, enjoy every step, and always look for ways to improve. You now know my basketball journey, from the beginning to now, and to where I aspire to get to. My name is Ethan Feliciano, and that was my basketball journey so far. Oakland out to Oakland, guys are stripped to Detroit, say hip hop on the destroy, tell them look at me, boy, I hope your son don't have a gun and never be a 